Hello everyone, Elrond here with part 42 of my NGN Dark Souls run. So, now that we've killed the boss guarding the DLC land, we are in DLC proper. And, um, for now we'll just be getting the, um, Chester set. So we'll need to, uh, find the first shortcut and kill the vendor that, um, is near the shortcut. Um, I generally don't feel bad about killing this guy because if you do go through the entirety of the DLC you'll find out that um, he invades you part of the way through your quest to um, save Dusk from the uh, Father of the Abyss. And you know, basically he's just a complete douchebag and deserves to die. And you need his gear, um, because some of his gear is going to be better than these gold-hemmed robes. And uh, this is, uh, once again, a place where I'm used to having the fog ring, so I'm not used to having two guys come down here. I'm probably not even used to one guy coming down here. Um, but in any case, we're going to make our way forward. Um, the opposite direction would be the direction we'd go if we've already unlocked the shortcut, but we just got here, so no shortcut for us. Um, so, generally right now I am basically hugging the cliff because uh, that's going to minimize the aggro we're going to get. And the less aggro we get, the less of these guys we have to kill to get to our destination. And getting to our destination with the least kills possible sounds like the uh, easiest way to go. So, we're moving onward. And we gotta watch out because eventually there'll be these uh, kind of like stone giant golems. Um, I think they might be called guardians uh, based on the gear that's uh, you know sprinkled around here that looks kind of like them. Um, they are pretty obnoxious. Um, they will swing their stuff um, deep into the ground, and it'll look like you'll have a great opportunity to attack them. And then when you go in to make that attack, they then pull their weapon out of the ground, sweeping up dirt all over the place and damaging you in the process. So. Really, you just can't win. Um, they're highly resistant to uh, the pyromancies because they're made of bloody stone. And so it's really quite obnoxious for us to um, have to deal with them. I'm starting to wonder if they have uh, immunity to poison or not because that might be a decent way to go. So I had forgotten that that was what this guy does, so I end up uh, letting him do that to me full blast. Um, but in any case, he successfully gets a good whack on me, so then I try my pyromancies out. That didn't do much. Like it did so little that it looked like it was not going to be worth it at all. Like it would take all my pyromancies to uh, kill him uh, and maybe one of his comrades. Yeah. Balder's not doing much better either, but at least the Balder gets um, a lot more durability. You, know, you could swing a Balder far more times than you can cast a pyromancy in a given um, cycle. And I just repaired it, which means there's going to be no chance that it's going to uh, need more repairs later. Um, I decided to go ballsy there and um, try to finish him off before he can um, do his lifting attack. And it uh, certainly paid off in this case. But if he needed two hits worth, then that would have been very bad. Luckily, he didn't. Um, so now we are going to press forward. And so, there's this dragon. That dragon is going to be um, 
guarding the Titanite slab. Now, for some reason, I'm under the impression that the ladder should be around here. I end up being wrong. It's somewhere else. I'll need to figure that out for the next cohort. Um, once I'm in a position to do the next cohort, there's actually a good number of things I need to look up real quick before um, going into the next cohort. Like, I need to go back to one of my old characters and figure out which armor pieces I liked to wear from the Chester sets, and I also need to um, confirm the exact location of the ring that lets us uh, kill uh, Gwendolyn, and then um, the location of this ladder. I want to say there was something else I wanted to look up um, prior to beginning the next cohort. Um, but it is escaping me at the moment. And this crystal lizard, I end up letting him live um, because for some reason I thought that my life would be made easier if I stayed up here, but then I realized that there's nowhere to go but down, so I kind of wasted an opportunity there. Um, but that's fine. Um, anything we can get from the crystal lizards we can, you know, get by duping souls or farming elsewhere. Um, supposedly, the crystal lizards that you'll find inside that giant tree that we went to on the way through um, to Ash Lake, um, supposedly those crystal lizards have a trivial chance of dropping titanite slabs, so those may be worth pursuing, but um, Remember, they're not worth pursuing at the expense of your own life. Um, and so, you know, crystal lizards do kind of um, tempt you to be uh, overly aggressive and uh, suicidal. And so that's why they put the valuable ones in a spot where there are plenty of falls to your death. So. If you want to take that as your um, Titanite slab uh, harvesting method of choice, remember to play it safe and most certainly have your 10 humanity up because these guys won't respawn. Um, so you are going to have finite chances. And so I decide here, um, coming back to the present, um, to put on the Ring of Sacrifice, because I just want to run through and not deal with these um, guardians or stone golems or whatever we're planning to call them. And I want to just get down this elevator so I can get to the shortcut. Um, looks like I did that easy enough. And so... I decided to put the... Uh, normal ring back on for whatever reason and so I have zero Erlen Myers I stupidly decide to fight this guy anyways um, I think at this point I am used to having a plus 15 boulder side sword when encountering this guy so I thought I could just take him but those five more um, points um, or levels for the Wilder Sword makes a world of a difference apparently. And also um, he was more lethal at ranged attacks than I remembered so I ended up having some trouble like duking him out with the boulders probably the way to go because he's got some you know super tough like throwing daggers and crossbow bolts and all kinds of craziness um, so now I've left myself in a pretty bad position um, I get a few really good shots off on him uh, but then um, my stamina gets low so I need to come back and reset and I'm Pretty stupid about shield management. I decide to uh, try to take another swing prematurely. Uh, that's it for this video. I'll see you next video. Good luck. Have fun.